Are you ready to crack a JavaScript interview? Let's play a quick challenge game. I'm going to give you six questions, six interview questions to crack, completely in real interview styles. And I'm also going to provide you a few hints. Will you be able to solve all the six problems or most of the problems before I publish the session or the video number 39 of 40 days of JavaScript? That will be the video anyways to help you with JavaScript interview preparations. But before that, the first challenge, let's build an anagram checker. What is an anagram? If we take two words, if those two words have same characters, same frequency, but they can be differently ordered, then we call them anagram. Can you write a function, maybe an optimal solution that can check whether two words are anagram or not? Hint for this, use a hash map to count characters and compare. That's the hint that I want to leave you with. Go try out and find a solution. Let's move to the second one. Let's find duplicates. Given an array of number, can you find out if one number appeared twice? And if that is the case, tell which number have appeared more than once. How can you think of it? One way of thinking of it to solve is think the array like a linked list with a cycle. That's just a hint, but you can think on many other ways to solve this problem. The third problem is about writing a debounce function. And when you need it, when you do not want a function to run too often, especially when you scroll, you resize and all these things, or you search very fast, wrap a function inside set timeout with a duration or delay and cancel the previous timeout before you call that again. I think we have touch base that in one of our session recently, isn't it? Then the next one is about converting a query string to an object. Name equals to tapas, ampersand sign, age equals to 30. Can you convert that to a JavaScript object? Hint is split by ampersand, then split by equals, but you can still improvise on top of it. The next one is about building an LRU cache. Think about the base data structure we have used in 40 days of JavaScript. You're sure shot going to find the answer for it. And the last one is about chainable sum function. It means, can you implement like sum of one, two, three, the way we are showing on the screen, you will be passing as many chainable argument possible. And that will give you the total summation of all the numbers that you are passing. Can you try that? Can you use closer for this? Will it solve it? Let's give it a try. So friends, you have got the clue. Go ahead and solve. Very soon, I'll be publishing day 39 or 40 days of JavaScript in that both of us will be solving problems like this. Some of this problem that we've discussed today and some new problems as well. We'll be getting ready for the JavaScript interview. So if you are for it, first give yourself a try and then let's get started with our day 39 in a few days time. See you there.